Shadows in the Attic, An Eerie Tale. The old house stood sentinel on the hill, its silhouette stark against the bruised sunset. It had been empty for years, a decaying monument to a forgotten family. Locals whispered of its history, a tragic fire, a ghostly child, a lingering sense of unease. I, however, was drawn to it, fascinated by the whispers, the chilling tales. This was my chance to prove them wrong, to expose the truth. I entered through the creaking front door, the heavy weight of silence pressing down on me. Dust motes danced in the fading light, catching the last rays of sun like tiny, shimmering ghosts. A cold wind snaked through the house, whispering through the empty rooms, rustling the tattered curtains. I ventured deeper, my flashlight slicing through the gloom, revealing peeling wallpaper and broken furniture. Memories clung to the air, thick and suffocating. A child's laughter in the nursery, a mother's hushed voice in the kitchen. My heart hammered against my ribs, not in fear, but in anticipation. Then I heard it, a soft, rhythmic tapping coming from the attic. I froze, every instinct screaming at me to turn back, but a morbid curiosity held me rooted to the spot. Taking a deep breath, I climbed the rickety stairs, the sound of the tapping growing louder with each step. The attic door was ajar, the air within thick and stale. I stepped inside, my flashlight beam revealing a single wooden rocking chair swaying gently back and forth. I held my breath, my eyes scanning the room. The tapping had stopped. Suddenly, a cold wind blew through the attic, extinguishing my flashlight. The room plunged into darkness, the only sound the rhythmic creak of the rocking chair. Panic clawed at my throat. Hello? My voice trembled, lost in the darkness. Silence. Then, a whisper, soft and chilling, close to my ear. You shouldn't be here. Terror engulfed me. I spun around, searching for the source of the voice. Nothing. Who's there? I asked, my voice barely a whisper. The rocking chair stopped. The room was silent except for my own ragged breathing. Then I heard it again, the faint tapping, closer now, coming from behind me. I stumbled backwards, tripping over something hard and cold. I felt my hand brush against something smooth and smooth, a doll. I gasped, my heart pounding in my chest. The tapping grew louder, relentless. I scrambled to my feet, my fear turning into a primal urge to escape. I fumbled for the flashlight, my fingers trembling. I found it, flicked it on. The attic was empty. The rocking chair was still. The doll lay on the floor, seemingly untouched. My relief was short-lived. On the wall, a single word scrawled in blood-red paint stared back at me. Stay. The silence was deafening. The air hung heavy, thick with dread. I knew then that I had stumbled into something more than just an old house. I had awakened something ancient and malevolent. I turned and fled, the chilling echo of the whisper, You shouldn't be here, ringing in my ears. The house, the whispers, the tapping, the voice, it all seemed to fade into the distance, the darkness swallowing me whole. But I could still feel its presence, a cold, unseen hand reaching out from the shadows, beckoning me back. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.